Morning, guys. Clutch here. Welcome back to Hazard County. Look at this. We've got fall. Fall is here. Finally, we're finally into fall. Uh, you know what? We're actually kind of ahead of the game as far as our harvesting goes. I mean, all our main fields down here have been harvested minus... Uh, we got one over on the far side there. I got to harvest still. I think that's spelt in that one. Something, something strange. But today, we're not going to worry about that. I got so much time. I, I'm happy with what we got there. I've got some other kind of money-making ideas. In fact, I've kind of spent my wad already on one of them. Uh, we've been busy selling, selling a bunch of products. Yesterday, we sold a whole bunch. Today, we're going to go take care of some more of that. Now, I got new Peterbilt. She's all hooked up, ready to rock and roll. And uh, we're going to go take a look at this and see what we can do with this tank. Now, the ethanol plant is ready to go again. All that corn we brought up to the ethanol plant yesterday we got some more fuel ready to ship. So I'm going to go ship this off. I think Icky's Diner, actually. they got a fuel station there. They have put a request in for some fuel. Let's go do a little drive-by. We'll go uh, fill them up, make another quick bit of cash. You know what's going to be? It's always so good to make cash for this. This is an easy way with all the corn we got make some decent money in fact we may have to go drive some more corn up to uh up to the ethanol plant guys because it's going to make us a ton more money anyways let's hop on into this we'll talk more on the way let's do this pitter patter clutch simulations oh big quarter open past there we go oh man so today like i said we're going to find some different ways of making some decent cash now after the ethanol sale we did yesterday we sold off that one truckload of ethanol uh, as well as some other products, which oh, we were talking about then. Um, I kind of got, got thinking, got thinking to myself, what else can we do to make some decent money? Uh, the ethanol makes us a ton of cash. And you know what? I kind of want to get in on the old fuel business. Well, we still got a chance. I mean, we don't know how long this is going to last for. How long until we can be driving electric trucks around? I'm going to make sure we get some fuel out of this. So I've got a plan for today. I'll show you that a little bit here. But... Uh, we made some big purchases. We got some uh, land rights taken care of, and uh, well, you know what? I think we're gonna make some money off this. You know what? If the ethanol plant might be more more productive for us. Uh, just selling the corn and selling fuel to, for that. That might be the best way to go, but there's only one way to find out. So, like I said, we bought some rights to some new property, and we've been doing some drilling. We've been doing lots of drilling, drilling for ore, well, drilling for oil, but. I think we hit a rich right now. We'll see. We've got we've got a pretty good vein. We'll, it's, it's looking like it's going to be a fairly positive positive net on uh, on the oil, and uh, well, we've got to find a way to, uh, to start shipping that stuff now. Things are going along now. We don't have a ton. Oh, I missed the turn. I missed the turn. I missed the turn. Let me go up ahead. Still here. Um, we don't have a ton of oil. It's just started producing last night. We've got a few barrels down there, and uh, as long as it keeps on making. Barrels. I think it's going to be a, a constant stream of revenue for at least the time being. And uh, if it pays for the claim itself and everything we put into it, hey, that's all good. It's going to give us a good steady income, I, ho I hope. Now, the ethanol plant itself, like I said, we could bring corn down here all the time. That seemed to make pay off fairly well. Just go on up. Oh, out of the grass. And uh, up into the ethanol plant here, guys. Again, we'll take her nice and easy pulling on in here. Oh, man. I don't know if I got it up close enough to this at all here. Kind of scooch it right up along the side. I don't have a hose that's real long with this tank. We got to make sure we're up nice and nice and snug here. Otherwise, <laughs> she doesn't quite fit. Uh, let's go back on in. That's better. There we go. 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 That's nice. Cool. All right. So let's uh, we'll get out of here. We'll load this bad boy on up. I think we get about thirty-two thousand liters of diesel in here, from what I remember. There she goes, 32,000 liters. Like I said, good guess. Excellent. All right, let's disconnect. And uh, you know what? We'll head back on up. So we still have about 1,000 liters of fuel in here. Not enough. We're going to need to bring up some more. We need to bring up some more corn if we want to make any more fuel up here. Uh, that's the end of the corn we brought up. So uh, that's all right. They produced it for us. Like I said, we got to go stop by the shop here, pay up for uh, the refining of this. But let's go make some profit after that, right? Go on in. Nice and easy here. Awesome. All right, we'll go stop on inside, add it to our account, and we are gone. Nice. All right, so over to Icky's Diner we go. Go drop off some fuel for them. This should be another good payday. This is actually working out kind of perfect. Uh, we had a bit of rain this morning. Nice bluebird day right now, but we had a bit of rain this morning, and you can see crops are all soaked, so I can't even harvest right now if I wanted to. Um, and then it's going to rain again a little later on today. So it's, it looks like... 
harvesting of any of our crops is kind of a no-go for right now. We're going to have to wait on that. And you know what? Since we're waiting around, we might as well sell some product, right? Either that or tend to our animals. And they can tend to themselves for a couple hours at least. We'll go up there to later on today, maybe and take care of them. Animals are looking good. Just got to start prepping them for winter. I mean, it is that time of year. All right. So Ricky's is just our Icky's is just around the corner here. Low traffic. Come on. Give a little horn. Prius. Get out of my way. Come on. Let's move it. Drop off this fuel and uh, make a decent profit. So after this, guys, I want to go check on, I'll show you the new plot of land we've got. Like I said, we picked up this uh, this claim. I've heard it had some decent oil up there. I'm curious to see if we can maybe place down some more. But uh, we've got the plot of land. We found some oil. We've already built the rig. Everything's good. It's already started production earlier today. Yeah, things are looking pretty good for this. But first of all, let's make some more money. Let's get back up to where we should be. Uh, you can see we're at 103,000 right now. Let's make a little more cash on this. Let's get rid of this. There's our fuel tank right there. We'll just back on in. That's a tough one though. Kind of out on the uh, out in the middle of the road here. Get our hazards on. Not a great spot to try to unload this tank. You know what? We need to get a little bit closer to this. I want to get off the road if I can. When we're unloading. I don't really feel like being out in the middle of the road. Really, uh, do something about this. There we go. Excellent. And then kind of jackknife this in right off the road. And that'll do, donkey. That'll do. Excellent. Touch. There we go. All right. We'll un unload all this and get her started. Last few drops of fuel coming out of the tank right now. Look at that. Oh, man. Decent. Another 70,000, roughly, into the bank account. So we <laughs> uh, do like shipping fuel. Look at that. There she goes. And she's empty. Let's go disconnect everything. I think I'm going to go have some breakfast over at Icky's Diner here, guys. All right. Off to the oil well. Um, we've got our curtain side trailer. Love this semi. This truck is fantastic. This thing grips. I mean, I've been driving the Ford for so long and having so many issues with it. And uh, with a Peterbilt, I could just kind of put the hammer down, cruise to the county without any issues. Like, look at this. As smooth as silk or butter. I don't know. You guys choose. But looking pretty good so far. So, the oil well. It's working out pretty good so far from what I can see. I mean, I have no idea what to expect for cash. Um, we're not really managing the oil well. Let's put it that way. I, I mean, I know nothing about an oil well, an oil derrick. I don't know. I don't really understand how they work. Let's be honest. I'm just here to, to, to own the land. I'm, and we're going to sub-hire someone to manage that for us. We'll deal with all the uh, the intricacies of getting the oil out of the ground. But I'm going to make the profit on it, of course. So uh, it'll be a bit of a... Eh, well, not quite as much money as we could make if we understood all that. But I'll show you what I'm talking about here. We're just going to pull in. Now, the property's way up to the north side of the county up here in the hills a bit. And uh, just around here is the access road. How did I miss that, guys? Not really the best driver in farm sim right now. Totally missed that road. There we go. No, I totally missed that. I didn't even see it. <laughs> uh, you can see it's been packed down pretty good. Like, there's been a lot of traffic coming through here as we've got this thing up and running. Um, a lot of big trucks. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch out for the roads in here. She's a bit rough. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. Perfect. And if you look off to this side here, look at this house up there. Look at that. Up on the peninsula. That looks pretty cool. Wouldn't mind having that shack compared to the, the dump we're living in still. <laughs> um, Alright, here we go. We just gotta get through this little tree stand right here. And over on the left, you can kind of see that oil derrick already. Yeah, it's right there. Just in behind the trees. Uh, there must be something in this... Uh, it's like a drainage area. and There must be like a vein or something down in here that where this is coming in from. The only thing that makes sense. Though... So, Found a bunch of oil down here when we drilled and uh, just bought the rights to this small piece of property, about a one acre, a little lot right here, basically, that we were able to purchase off this farmer. So we've got this one little acre lot and we own the rights to uh, the oil that's coming out of it. We can get out of here. Let me just spin this bad boy around. You know, we need to fix this a little bit. We should have the guys make a bit of bigger of a parking lot in here, that's for sure. All right, we've got ourselves situated here. We've got two pump jacks, as you can see. Uh, or they're pumping oil right now. Let's see, what, what do we got for oil right now? We got 18,333 liters already ready to go. That was from uh, about last night. We got the pump jacks fired up. And uh, 
yeah, this is one of the problems I'm running into though with this. We don't really, since we don't really have the licensing and the, the proper to, uh, to transport large volumes of crude oil, that is going to be a problem for us. So we're stuck dealing with, well, you can see we got some barrels there. We got some barrels out here as well. We need to transport it in barrels. We can't load it into a tanker truck. It's got to be in a smaller volume. The 20 gallons as the max we're allowed to transport this at a time. So that's why we're going to be stuck with these barrels, guys. So I need to uh, facilitate that a little bit. We're going to get these, these barrels all loaded up. All right, so we manually filled up our barrels. We've got, what do we got, five pallets there. Could have probably done without the curtains. We probably could have done this with something a bit smaller. I wasn't quite sure how much we have. Uh, we still have a few thousand liters of, uh, of crude still sitting in there. But, you know what, to fill up a whole barrel, you want to put these in 4,000 liter barrels, of course. So, uh, or in, sorry, 20 gallon barrels, of course. So anyways, let's, uh, let's get this pumped up. Math doesn't make sense on there, does it? It doesn't make sense at all. Anyways. Let's get this uh, loaded up into our curtain side. Now, like I said, this is going to be the only way we're going to be able to, uh, to shift these just because of licensing and, oh man, yeah, environmental protection, all that good stuff. So we're going to try and uh, just kind of stay a little under the radar on this. There we go. Just a little bit of this. There we go. And we're good to go. So it should be fine to do it by this. Like I said, it's not... It, there's no uh, no transportation issues shipping by barrels as long as we keep them barrels this size we're not not a problem man we need a we need a pipeline oh whoa, whoa, whoa. that was that was close back right into my trailer we need to get a pipeline that's what we definitely need to get up here that would be sweet all right we got our oil loaded up look at that even the the, uh, the forklift's back on properly I don't know why I broke there but anyways we got our five pallets of uh, oil. Drop these bad boys down. We don't want them flying off mid mid cruise here. One, why not? Good, good, good. That looks great. You know what? We didn't need this big of a trailer. We probably could have used it. Uh, we could probably put stuck it in that 35 foot enclosed trailer. That's a bit more of a pain to use though. It's not easy. All right, let's close this uh, inside right up. Done. All right, guys, we are good to go. A little bit of oil. We'll take this up to uh, well the refinery. We'll get this refined. And hopefully, we can get some decent cash out of this. I'm hoping that this is similar to canola, or the canola, sorry, the, um, the ethanol plant we got going on up there. If you would have noticed, oh, there's another plant up by that ethanol plant. And that's, well, this is, that's going to be the crude refinery up there. So we're heading up that neck of the woods again, back to the refinery district of the county, basically. And then, uh, yeah, we're selling that. Whatever we can make off of that, we've sold right back to Ickies again. Not bad. It's a pretty easy gig, I guess. Man, it feels like all I'm doing is trucking today. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad we picked up the better truck, though. It's making life so much easier for me. <laughs> Couldn't imagine doing that. This with the Ford. The amount of, uh, of trips we've made. And we've still got to go, well, up to the refinery. Why well, am I going to do truck over there? Uh, we got to go to the refinery. And then we've got to head back to the farm, pick up the, uh, the tanker again, and then deliver the... Like, it's, it never ends. It just seems like that's all we're doing. Just trucking left right and center uh, at least it's uh, a nice day out i'd rather be driving on a nice sunny day like this than out in the rain but that rain might be coming sooner than i think might be coming sooner than we think but anyways just cruise on through town we'll slow her down a little bit here instead of doing 50 miles an hour just take her nice and easy oh slow her down slow her down oh what's the prius doing great corner here and all the way up to the plant up the hill to our refineries. We've got that canola, or the canola, the ethanol, and the crude oil refinery just at the top here. Spin around. All right, hammer down, let's go. Excellent, now, they should already have crude in there. Um, obviously, there's a massive refinery, so whatever product we give, they have a certain percentage they give back that uh, they already know. It's not like we're gonna get product for product. So they know exactly how much we're pumping into this thing. Back, it's right on up against the, the grate over there. That's where they want the oil barrels. Pull forward a touch. Just a touch. And then we'll back her on up and we can offload into their little shed they got there. My little shed, I mean, it's a pretty big shed. <laughs> Look at the size of it. It's actually pretty massive. All right. Let's get her up on this grate here. You know what? I'm going to pull all the way back. So we've got that little forklift. We need to unload with that. But we'll get close enough. Perfect. All right. 
We'll leave this here. We'll go have a chat with those guys inside. You know what? Let's open the curtain side up while we're talking about this. So I don't forget. Excellent. Open it up. We've got all our oil barrels still. And uh, yeah, we'll just drop this off here. Hopefully in the next little bit we can come back and load some more diesel for us. Make some more money today. Oh man. All right. Just had a quick tour. Had a coffee with the boys in there. And a quick tour of the facility. Interesting plant. Very interesting plant indeed. That's pretty cool. Um, I, I don't know what's with this. <laughs> Whammer, is that your picture? Might be you. Um, I don't know what the heck's going on with that. But anyways, they've unloaded the truck for us. And uh, they said later on today that we can come pick up. It's going to take a bit to uh, get some processing done. They're not ready for me to unload yet. So we're doing a bunch of work today. <laughs> a pretty cool place. So we had a little quick processing tour plant to see how this uh, how they make their, their diesel fuel from the crew that uh, I'm delivering off. A little bit smaller than I was expecting, to be perfectly honest. I was expecting uh, something a little bit bigger than this place. But hey, whatever, man. It takes us some uh, some fuel from the products we're, uh, we're delivering. That is fantastic. So we'll come back a little later on today. We'll pick up that and uh, make some more money. I do need to... Oh, let's get out of here off this. Nice. Um, we do need to drop off some more of our corn, actually, over at the uh, oil plant or the ethanol plant. The ethanol plant next door there. I need to bring, bring up some more product for that as well. That'll do a little later on today. I should go take care of some animals. We've got a lot of chores still to do around the farm today. It's going to be a decent day, at least until early afternoon it looks like. And then, well, 10 to 12-ish, something like that, the rain's coming. And I'd like to get all my chores done before the rain obviously hits because no one likes chores in the rain. Um, as well, I a massive field out front. And that needs to uh, that needs to be cultivated. We need to till that all up as well. I could use some use of the 9R. We might use the challenge. I don't know. 9R Challenger? I love using the 9R. The 9R is so much fun to drive around in. <laughs> I'm gonna be a sucker for that big tractor. Alright, so I went with neither. I went with the case instead. I wanted to go with the John Deere, but we're using the case tiller. Um, it didn't feel right to go with anything but the case. <laughs> I can't do it. It feels bizarre. I just can't do it. I can't mix and match them. It's gotta be used with the case. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a bit neurotic at times. Uh, it is what it is, though. <laughs> Let's drop this in and get this field all plowed up, cultivated up, filled up. You know what I'm saying? And around we go. Excellent. Glad to see that the 380 has no problems pulling this still in the field. I wasn't quite sure if this was going to run into some, into some any issues with getting stuck. But uh, if we can get this done before the rain comes, I'm sure the rain will cause us issues. So it be nice to have this all wrapped up by then. <laughs> Uh, looking good, looking good, looking good, love it. Oh, yes. All right, so we'll finish this quickly up, and then uh, we'll probably be doing a trip back over. We'll drop some more of our uh, our corn once it starts raining off at the ethanol plant, and then maybe just do some work with some animals. You know how it is. Awesome. Anyways, guys, that is uh, going to do it for us today from here on Hazard County. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Drop that like. Don't forget to subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, I will catch you guys very soon. Have a good one, guys. This is Clutch. Over and out.